oh, that's right, we're bringing you to go murder someone <laughs> because they killed your dog or something. <laughs> yes. I once had an idea for a settler pinup calendar, oh. but then I realized no one wants to see us naked. <laughs> Over at Slocum Joe's corporate headquarters. All right, well, why don't we go to... Green Top Nursery, let's stop on by. Yeah, we'll go to Green Top Nursery and then walk there. I'm just so hungry all the time. You're cooking food! <laughs> you are cooking food right now! It's because he's hungry, that's why he's doing it. Ah! <laughs> I couldn't help but notice you trying to get into that bunker. What bunker? Perhaps if we work together, we might find a way in. Who are you? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, oh, that. Yeah, I guess we Th tried. Th that? That was a long time ago. Why would I help you? My employer is both wealthy and charitable. That charity extends to both her employees and the impoverished. In that bunker is enough food to feed an entire town. Enough to make you rich. And a single person is hoarding all of it for himself. So in the end, it doesn't matter if you're a bleeding heart or a cold one. Our goals are one and the same. What if I'm just a sociopath and I want to kill somebody? This is an unexpected detour. What exactly is inside? Stim packs, food, water. Okay, the stim packs I'm interested in. I've staked this location out for months and seen caravans deliver entire crates worth of supplies. I'm not sure where the owner gets his caps, but I'm certain he's the only one inside. I don't know how you have that information, but okay. What the hell are you planning on doing? It's simple. There's three bunkers in total. And while they rarely speak, they all have a bond, a history, if you will. Of course, when I say, flush them out, might be best to do it quietly. The easy solution would be to walk in and start shooting up their homes. But all it takes is one stray bullet to ruin the plan. Personally, I think this calls for a more artful method. I tried knocking already, didn't work. Yeah, I'm not a thief. And I'm not asking you to steal. I just want a word with a man in that bunker. A man, I remind you, that takes far more than he'll ever need. He is stealing milk from the mouths of newborns. He is starving entire families with his avarice. whoop de doo Remember that as you cling to your false morality. I think we should help him out. I don't know who this person is. I think we should murder him. I think we should keep violence to a minimum. Good. Using fear is more efficient than blood. Here's my plan. The man in the first bunker has a thing for holotapes. But if someone replaced his heartwarming dramas with, say, a late night horror show, he might decide to spend the night elsewhere. What? Of course, you'll need to get access to his terminal before you can switch the holotapes. Yeah. I suggest either cutting the power and offering to fix it, or fishing his pockets for the key. What? In the what? meantime, All I'll right. keep watching. That is the dumbest plan! I have ever heard. I can't wait to see it not work because oh, it's so tough. That is the stupidest plan. Also, how do we get inside to do that if we're locked out? What is up with your right shoulder? We got a new right shoulder armor. Man, it it's, looks dumb. It's the ghoul slaying armor you picked up, remember? Uh, I like it a lot more than the giant copper pauldron I had. It looks like the kind of thing that you would try to trade to a First Nations people for their entire state. You know how I say function over form? Yeah. This thing gives me 100 damage and 100 energy resistance. That's still dumb. <laughs> I sometimes wonder how high the vault numbers go. Someone told me one time that they only made 122. Do you think they numbered them sequentially? Why are you asking us? We're not experts. Hmm. Weird. All right, well, let's go kill this lady's mom. This killer. And then we'll deal with this, yes. And then we'll deal with this. Because we got we got too many people right now. Okay. Vengeance quest! Gonna kill some people for vengeance. Would you prefer to call it vengeance or revenge? I think vengeance implies that you are in the right, but revenge just implies that you're doing something to make yourself feel better. Okay, so definitely vengeance. Look out, boss! This is a hell of a way to make a living. 
Are you sure it's vengeance? Are you sure that what we're doing is correct? Well, would we be doing it if we didn't think so? What if she just said that this person killed her mother so that we would help her kill this random person who actually just stiffed her on mescaline money? <laughs> What's mescaline? It's a, it's a drug. Okay. She she sold them mescaline, but they stiffed her out of like $200. So she's claiming it's a vengeance quest, but it could be a revenge quest in disguise. Yeah, maybe. Ow! Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, okay, and this is the people we're killing. We're, which one do you use? Meat hook. I don't know. Kill them all. Find their dog tags later. Grenade. Oh, that's a landmine, not a grenade. Again? Lure them over here. Now he's not coming. He's stuck in a table. That's done. All right. They're all dead. Oh, uh, look, the landmine landed in between his legs. <laughs> we earned it. All right. Hey, meat hook. Meat hook. More like meat dead. Yeah, I got him. Air horns. <laughs> One air horn. <laughs> oh. Board game, The Spy Hunters. Nice, another have, have board game. Oh, we found this one already. Oh, yes, The Spoo Hunters again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Deputy Security Officer Sanders. It's over. Meat Hook is dead at last. I'm... I'm not sure how to feel. Feel happy because he won't hurt anyone ever again. Yeah, and he's in hell where he belongs. Yeah, I guess you're right. I suppose I expected it to feel... Different. I thought I'd be glad he's gone, but now I just feel empty. I've held on to this for so long. I feel like a part of me died with him. It's like it's almost like you made revenge your entire personality, and then when you didn't have revenge anymore, now you feel bad. Man, his cod piece is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. You know, I. Uh, okay. All right, well, let's, um, let's go. We're not paying you to whistle, Logan. Quests. Three little wastelanders. So somehow we have to steal the key to the terminal, or... We have to shut the power... Oh! Hey, um, uh, the reason we couldn't shut the power off is because we have to go to the, like power substation that's down the road from the house. Oh, okay. That's why we couldn't shut the power off. <laughs> All right, let's go. Because we're both morons <laughs> and we couldn't figure that out. Eh, whatever. This is why I'm not an electronics engineer. Oh, so check this out. I got a soft touch can opener. Yeah. What a soft touch can opener does is it goes on the very top of the can and it actually cuts the rolled part of the top of the can. Always got to keep your eyes open for movement. Yeah. It actually cuts the rolled part of the top of the can, and it makes it so that there's not actually a sharp edge on it. So you can just, like, manhandle the shit out of the top of the can and not worry about cutting yourself. But the real reason that I like them is that you can even use this on pull tab cans. <laughs> All right. And the reason that it's good to use on pull tab cans is because when I get my, my tasty raviolis, mm -hmm. I use a soft touch can opener on it. And then all the raviolis just slide out of the can. There's no lip. It means that there's no lip anymore for the raviolis to get stuck on. So they just all just slide right out of there. No longer do I have to worry about my raviolis getting cut open by the lip from the stupid pull tab on the can. You're, I think you're using a can opener all wrong. No, no, no. When you use like the pull tab cans, oh. because it's like perforated. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. So you end up with a lip that the ravio that one or two raviolis inevitably go bonk and slap into that little lip. And then they won't come out of the can, and you gotta you like reach in there with your fingers, and then you cut your fingers open because you're a horrible homunculus of a man like I am. Or you gotta use a spoon and get in there, which who the hell uses spoons to remove raviolis from a can? So th normal this people, is great. Normal this, people do that. This is great because now the raviolis just go shloop and slide right out of the can into the pan and heat up. Or, or if you're me, you just you just cut the can open and then just like funnel them directly into your mouth. I'm glad you found a new way to eat ravioli. <laughs> welcome. So that's the bunker, eh? Why does he have a welcome sign? Let's go talk to him before we cut his power. All right. If you're bantering about the accent, well, I learned it from listening to old hollow tapes. This guy. The others are, how you say, a little rough around the edges. 
Just like a can if you don't use a soft cut can opener. These bunkers were built before the war by three families. Myself, Annie, and Carlos are all that is left. All right, okay. All right, let's go cut his power, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I got a weird, you got a painting of a, like the Duke of Burlwood Burrow. Carlos hasn't left his bunker since Abraham left. I feel it's hit him the hardest. Okay, cool, whatever, bye. Don't exactly know why we're doing this, but we're doing this. I'm sure that everything will be fine and that this this guy that we're working for isn't totally going to backstab us and that also Franz definitely can't hear us down there. Mm -hmm. It is not immediately clear which fuse connects to the terminal, but you could try relying on your perception, intelligence, or just plain luck and pick the right fuse. I turn off the terminal using my perception. Okay, fuse is off. Are you handy with electronics? Can you take a look at my terminal? What are you doing? Help! Breaking your paintings? Yeah, they're, they're awful paintings. Okay, fine, we'll fix your computer. There are three holotapes loaded into the player. Which one would you like to replace with the horror story? Oh, get rid of his heartwarming dramas. Yeah. Yeah, all right, no more heartwarming dramas for you. Yeah. <laughs> Diamond City Radio is a little oh too my God, fast okay. for my- Good work. Now all we have to do is wait. But I have a feeling it won't be long. Ah! Speak of the devil. Oh, and he's out here! What's the matter, buddy? Ah, there he goes! Yes! There he goes! He's running! He's running! He was so terrified of that scary video! He's, look, man, he's going. Look at him go. Annie! Let me in! Please! This is a matter of life and death! Now comes phase two. This next phase calls for two parts. If you've noticed, the woman has a fondness for hunting and Diamond City Radio. We didn't notice I want that, you no. to put this transponder on a radio antenna and hijack the signal. Let me worry about the content. Once that's done, I want you to place this rad stag's head in your freezer. That should be <laughs> enough to send them scurrying off to Bunker 3. Oh, I get it. Your name is Wolf. This is like a Three Little Pigs reference. Oh. Uh... Okay, I don't exactly know what we're doing, but okay. We're scaring piggies. Got it. Yeah, we're, we're scaring. Let's go talk to this lady first. Carlos thinks his bunker's better than mine. Well, it's what? not. Hey, Annie. How are you? Are you Annie Oakley? There used to be four of us. Abe ain't around no more, so his bunker's basically like a grave. Right, so we heard. Okay. It really is haunted. I don't think I can go back. Perhaps it was the ghosts that got Abraham, too. Maybe. Not like this place, which is definitely not haunted. <sighs> yeah, I like how he's scared of ghosts, but this doesn't bother him. You better not try anything. I don't swing that way. What? It's right. Wow, Annie is a drunk. Yeah, Annie, you got some problems. Kind of a slob down here. Yeah. Ooh, 47 pre-war monies. That's a lot of pre-war monies. And place the transponder on the beacon. Okay, and now that the transponder has been placed. And then jump off this roof. Whoa, that's new. Is that new? The sinkhole? No, I think that's That's pretty cool. I want to check that out. Remind me to check that out. Check out the giant rain hole. Yeah, it looks cool down there. Uh, you know what? We got time. This whole place is Ooh. Yeah, this seems like a bad idea, going into the sinkhole. Oh, oh no! no! <laughs> okay, and now, now we all die. Or we're Some, alive! Somehow my legs aren't broken. Sounds like a super mutant armpit in here. What the? Yo, this water's actually pure. That's kind of crazy, considering all the radiation. Yeah, we're, just, we're, we're, we're selling water now. I, I guess we could. Because it's just naturally purified water down here. Yeah, this water must be hitting some kind of purification stone. Yeah, exactly. I got a dumb question. What's that? Like, what What makes so... Jeez, you're fast! <laughs> if you're going to ask me questions about water purification, I don't know. What do I look like? No, no, no. Like, why... You're, you're a water purification <laughs> specialist. Why Why don't you know that? That was a decade ago! 
You should still remember. Oh, I purged all that, just like the army code. JJ did type buckle. The what? Just like you forgot the army code, I forgot JJ did tie buckle. What is JJ did tied buckle? I don't know. I already forgot. All right. So I guess we're going to go in there now and talk to him. Hey, we found this awesome sinkhole. You should go check it out. What time is it? Why, it's time for a whole lot of shaking. I'm shake telling you, my bunker is haunted. Please. I agree right. your bunker ain't safe, but you and I both know it's got nothing to do with ghosts. What the hell? What did I tell you? This ghost is real. It must have followed me here. Or it could be Travis finally went nutters. But you heard it. That's the sound of a dying rat stand. You don't think that's a message? I think you've lost yeah. your mind. All right. Luckily, I got just a thing to fix what ails you. Now I'm going to get you a beer out of the fridge. Why don't you sit down and try not to have a panic attack, okay? Yep. What the fuck? See, I told you this place was haunted. I don't know if I believe you, but I sure as hell ain't staying here to find out. Let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, let's go! I really can't believe this is working. <laughs> this is the dumbest plan ever, and somehow it's working. Uh, oh, we gotta wait for him to go to the third house. Ah, ghosts! Ah, run away! Run to this house! Ah, I'm so scary! Carlos, open up! You gotta let us in! What is it now? Our bunkers are haunted! You have to help us! Haunted? You can't be serious. Does it sound like we're fucking around? Open this goddamn door, I swear I'm kicking it down. All right, all right. Keep your pants on, you damn mungos. Mungos? Is it a child in there? Come on. Let's follow him in. He lets us in? He lets us in, all right. Uh, was... Excuse me, we're gonna go first. Age before beauty. No, beauty before... Oh, whatever, I'm going first. Oh. My. God. This place smells worse than my brother. <laughs> Goodness. Why is there a calorie mate? I'm taking it, but why? Delicious calorie. Oh, booby trap. Into the bunker. Oh, there's there's more in here. Goodness! Well stocked bunker. Thanks for letting us in, Carlos. It was very kind of you. Yeah? Well, I hope you're happy. Because you let these other two mungos in after you. I told you, I'm not helping your stupid charity. This stuff is mine. You have more than you'll ever need, boy. You have an obligation to society. Well, why should I care about a bunch of surface dwellers? What have they ever done for me? Surface dwellers. <laughs> Be nice and no one has to die. All right, fine. Take anything you want from the supply room. Just don't touch my things. All right. Yay. What'd you come here for? I'll take it from here. Seeing as we were equal partners in this endeavor, this should cover your half of the bounty. Don't worry. I'll make sure the supplies get to where they're needed. Yeah. Our business is done. I'm glad you and Carlos were able to come to terms. I always thought the way he hoarded supplies was a bit suspicious. Damn ghost rad stags. If it tries to slime me, I'm gonna hit him with the old flamethrower. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yep, these supplies are all ours. We're taking them. Don't try to stop us or we'll kill you all. Yoinkity yoink yoink yoink. This is all for us. This is all us. We're robbing and we don't care. What was that about hoarding things? Yeah. I like how he was like stim packs and there were two. <laughs> yeah. Technically, he was correct. There were stim packs. Stim pack plural, yes. Oh, I can't steal the whole refrigerator. All right, let's get out of here. All right, that was a fun little endeavor. Goodbye forever. All right, back to Vault 4. Yay, I'm going back home first. I gotta drop off all the crap that I picked up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give me an L. Give me an O. Give me a V. Give me an E. <laughs> That's for you, my love muffin. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs>